Welcome back to the channel guys. Fun one here looking at bump and runs. Uh, important for getting the most out of your game because when you get into this situation, being able to get up and in is really important. So I have a spot here where it's one of those ones where you could putt, you could chip. Uh, this one I'm going to fly it uh, a, you know, probably three steps onto the green or, or a little bit more than that. Uh, I have an eight iron here because it's going uphill into the grain. It's about 20 yards this shot here. So when I'm set up to this one, I'm going putting grip. Okay, so for me, that's reverse overlap. Okay, and then I'm going to elevate the hands a little bit similar to a putter. And if I hold the club out in front of me, I'm picturing similar to putting, the energy for this shot is coming a little bit from the center of my chest here, okay? So I'm trying to keep my hands nice and relaxed. The energy is coming from the center of my chest. With putting, I'm not going to move my legs. But with this shot, I let my legs move slightly. My pressure is more to the lead side here, okay? So I'm trying to make it as simple as I can. You can see on this one, it's sort of like a shin to shin or ankle to ankle type of swing. And I try to keep that as consistent as I can. And if I need to adjust it, um, or if it's a longer shot, depending on how far I have to carry it, that would dictate if I'm taking a different club, okay? So obviously if I was going to the first hole, it'd be probably be around a nine iron bump and run. This to the second hole is an eight iron bump and run, but it would be very similar type of motion. So I have the ball just around center, pressure's forward. Uh, I got the track man running. We'll see if we get a couple numbers here, just see if, how simple I can make this. Good, I shut the face, I think, a little tiny bit at impact, so it had a bit more run on that. Still pretty good. Uh, didn't get path on that. I try to keep these ones very neutral when I'm hitting them. Okay, I'll hit a couple more, see if we get a couple numbers to talk through here. And it's, it's, again, it's trying to keep it as simple as I can. Very um, calm hands. Get in. Lift out there. Come on. Let's see if I... It's just because I'm hitting it soft. Sometimes the track man doesn't pick it up. I'll just adjust the ball here. So same thing. Ball middle stance open. Picturing sort of how I'm running it up there. Same motion. Come on back, come on back. Okay, so again, nice and simple, there we go. So that's a one in to out path with a one open face and I have that basically off the center of the hole uh, and this is breaking slightly, so basically a neutral face, neutral path-ish. Because uh, when I'm trying to hit this, it's hard if you start to hit it and you see it checking up or cut spinning a lot. I find it a little harder to control what's gonna happen. So again, I'm trying to keep it nice and simple Keep the tempo simple. Uh, grip pressure is a little bit light for me here when I do this, so I have nice light hands on here. Not trying to death grip it, and then let my chest, uh, sort of this part of my chest produce the energy without too much movement. So I would obviously take those. Uh, that's another 0.9 into out with a 0.1 open face. So again, very neutral. That one's four down, so I still have some attack. Again, even though I'm not hitting the ground very hard, I'm just making sure that I get that good strike each time. So very fun one, really important to get the most out of your game if you're able to get up and down from, I would say, sort of uh, spots where you feel like you should, right? Like if I'm here and I'm playing around a round of golf, you know, in my head, I'm like, oh, I gotta make sure I get this up and down to keep my round going. So important to practice these. Um, play around with different lofts and different distances. Again, this is around a 20 yarder, uh, just running up the hill, pretty simple type of shot. And uh, I hope that helps you score a little bit better when you get around the greens. If you need any more help for your game, check out timeofyourgolf.com.